if you've looked at folks' Christmas lighting displays, you've probably seen boxes like this, and yes, this is hooked up in live right now, the Christmas light controllers. So what is a controller and what role does it play in your display? Hi, I'm David Henry from Learn Christmas Lighting, and in this video, I'm going to show you the guts of this controller and just explain to you the basics of how they work. So if we open this up, and like I said, it is live and controlling uh, these lights behind me. So we'll open this guy up. This is a CG1500 by Cable Guard box. We see there's kind of a couple components to a controller, okay? There are little pieces of wire that fall out, but no. In this one, there is a power supply. There is a receiver board for my Falcon uh, control. Rather, that's over here. There's a power distro board. And then there's my Falcon F48 as well, which is my actual Pixel controller. So what does all this stuff do and how does it relate to your lighting? Well, let me set this down and I'll share that with you. In its simplest form, a Pixel controller takes the information from your computer or a Raspberry Pi or something like that, your sequence information, it sends that data, those individual channels of red, green, and blue for each pixel, and it sends those over E131, or SACN as it's called, don't worry about the technical jargon right now, and it sends it, your computer sends it to your controller, at which point your controller turns that data, turns that information into information that these pixels can use, okay? Usually in this hobby these days, that's called WS2811 or 2812 or 2815. They're all very similar, but one of these pixel type protocols. At which point, the controller is able to output directly to these pixels, and along with some power, you've got lights. And so, a controller is an essential part of making a great Christmas display. And so, how do you find the right controller? Well, Today, more than ever, and I'll link to an article on Learning Christmas Lighting here as well, but today, more than ever, there are more options of controllers available, okay? You have controllers that have a few outputs on them for a few pixels. Actually, there's one right here from Entech, which is in the stage lighting world. There are controllers that have many outputs on them, like an F16 uh, controller from Falcon Controller, or very popular in this space. There are long range controller like the F48 or the Advitech Pix light system that allow you to have your controller in one place and then have receiver boards that actually output to your lights in other places. And so my recommendation if you're brand new to this hobby is, you know, do your research, but for the most part going into the future, most people are going to want to spend the money on a long-range type controller. Because you see, when it comes to connecting your controller to these lights, the further the distance of wire between any two of these pixels, any of these lights, or, and their controller. So you come out of the controller, maybe it's 10 feet to the first light, maybe it's 5, maybe it's 0. The longer that that distance gets, the more likely you're going to have problems with your data. Because this pixel data, unlike the information coming from your computer to your controller, it's not designed to go a long distance. And so when you're looking for a controller and you're really starting to plan out your display, I want you to look at where your strings are all going to start, how close can we get them all together, and then how far is that from your controller? Because in choosing a proper controller, you want to get the strings and the outputs of the controller to your lights. You want to get those as close as possible. Because when you do that, it's going to make your life a lot easier. Now, I hope this helps you. I hope this kind of gives you the basics of what a controller is and how it can help you. And if you do want more, check out my guide, Three Things You Need to Know Before You Begin a Display This Year for Christmas. I'm David Henry, and I will see you in the next video as long as you're subscribed here, so be sure to do that. I will see you soon. Thanks.